Melbourne royal watchers aren't backward in coming forward, and Duchess Meghan is certainly not shying away from the probing public questions. So when cheeky Charlie Wolfe, aged 12 and a student from from Middle Park Primary School who was traveling on a tram with the Duke and Duchess, asked Meghan, have you got any names for the baby? She was ready with an answer. We haven't decided. We've been given a long list of names from everyone and we're going to sit down and look at them, have a talk about it, she said. Ella Burns, 12, from Albert Park Primary, who was next to Charlie and also talking to the Duchess said she thought Meghan might be trying to skate around the question. She said she had a list of names but I don't think they were sure and they hadn't thought of one as it was still quite early. For royals taking public transport is novelty and Prince Harry continued to follow in his grandmother's footsteps today during the couple's whirlwind trip to Melbourne when they stepped aboard one of Melbourne's trams to take the short hop from Albert Park Primary School to South Melbourne Beach with a group of school students. The Melbourne trams may have been operating for more than a century but the iconic form of transport is still something of a rarity for royals. Her Majesty the Queen took the tram when she visited Melbourne in 2011 and today Harry and Meghan looked equally delighted. Ella asked Meghan what she liked to do in her spare time. She said she loved relaxing and watching TV and shows. And when Ella followed up with which are your favorite shows the Duchess said there are so many to choose from. There are Tanyan Holt, 18, an aspiring actor from Elwood College was incredibly excited to be sitting next to Meghan and when she asked what he wanted to do when he left school, he told her drama and acting. Meghan said that it was a good industry here in Australia. Felix Asser McCallum, 12, was opposite Harry and told the prince that his grandma had danced with Prince Philip in Canberra a long time ago. He said cool. That's great, explained a very proud and awestruck Felix. And 12-year-old Lola Mayorinese from Middle Park Primary School, summed it up for all of the students, today was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, she said. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world right now. And then in a trice it was all over and the royal couple walked past hundreds of cheering fans onto South Melbourne Beach. Prince Harry and Meghan, opting for a pair of flats, joined students from Albert Park Primary School. Port Melbourne Primary School and Albert Park College who regularly comb the foreshore for rubbish, and volunteers from community group Beach Patrol, whose members work with the schools and clean the foreshore as well. The prince was heard asking the children about climate change being part of their school syllabus as well as their efforts collecting and collating rubbish. What is the most regular thing you find on the beach? He said. Straws? Albert Park College student Mel Isand. 14, was among those to meet the royal duo. It feels really good to know they are interested in plastics and what we are finding on the beach as well as different ways we can reduce straws because that's a major issue on these beaches. He recommended that maybe we don't need as many straws but if we do need them we should look maybe into metal or bamboo. It was exciting. It's nice to know they are real people and they care. Port Melbourne Primary School pupil Amelia, 11 said the Duke and Duchess also asked about microplastics, which can hurt marine life and humans. They said that's why humans are now starting to care because it goes into our bodies, she said. It was pretty cool. They really cared about it which was really good. The Bayside outing was the last event of today's Melbourne visit. Their Royal Highness is now returned to Sydney where they will tomorrow visit Bondi Beach. Kensington Palace has confirmed the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. The announcement comes after months of speculation around the newlyweds, and following the Duchess' glowing appearance at Princess Eugenie's wedding. When will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have their first baby? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. While a due date has not been confirmed yet. Speculation has it around late March or early April. It is rumored that the couple informed the royal family of Meghan's pregnancy at the wedding of Princess Eugenie. Before the royal wedding in May 2018, Meghan's father Thomas Markle broke traditional royal protocol to speak out and say that a child will be coming soon. 
Around the same time, Ladbrokes made it a 4-6 chance that the newlyweds make an announcement in 2018 they are expecting their first child. When did Harry and Meghan get married? The couple tied the knot on May 19, 2018, after a smitten Harry popped the question in London last year. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and was attended by A-list stars and watched around the world. Prince William was best man. And here is the full list of bridesmaids and page boys. The world has been awaiting the announcement of a Sussex baby eagerly. How did Harry and Meghan meet? Prince Harry and Meghan first met after being introduced by mutual pals but only announced they were together in November 2016. They were then spotted hand in hand for the first time while out on a date in London. At the time, Pals said actress Meghan had virtually moved into Harry's cottage at Kensington Palace with the couple having been inseparable for weeks. On May 6, 2017, Meghan made her first public appearance as a royal girlfriend when she proudly watched Prince Harry playing polo in Berkshire. Then in September, the pair were pictured together in Toronto as they attended the Invictus Games with Meghan's mum Doria. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton have their first child? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, a year and eight months after they were married at Westminster Abbey. The announcement had come earlier than is traditional as Catherine was admitted to hospital with hyperemesis gravidarum. Prince George was born on July 22, 2013. Their second child Princess Charlotte was born on May 2, 2015. Their youngest aunt, Prince Louis was born on St. George's Day, April 23. Prince Harry has quite the fan club. On the third day of their tour down under, Harry and his pregnant wife Meghan Markle arrived holding hands to meet thousands gathered on the grounds of the city's Royal Botanic Gardens on Thursday morning, Australian time. While most of the crowd could hardly contain their excitement when approached by the newlyweds, one girl in particular broke down in, very happy, tears after the 34-year-old prince pulled her in for a sweet embrace. Prince Harry just hugged me, 19-year-old India Brown told the Herald Sunday I've loved that family since I was eight and I've followed them around the world. It was just such an opportunity and I just went for it, Brown told the outlet. I didn't expect it to happen because it's actually against protocol. I said I know it's against royal protocol but can I please have a hug? Brown recounted. He hugged me and I burst into tears. He just said oh you're going to get me in trouble. Nonetheless, Meghan, 37, certainly didn't seem to mind as she too greeted a plethora of elated fans. For the appearance, which Harry and Meghan arrived 20 minutes late to, the former suit star wore a navy dress, the same color she wore to Princess Eugenie's royal wedding on Friday, by Australian designer Dion Lean matching Manolo suede heels, and she carried Gucci's Sylvie mini chain clutch. She topped her ensemble with a Martin Grant trench coat, the exact one she wore just two days ago in Sydney. After opting for a low ponytail yesterday, she returned to a bouncy blowout for the outing. Just three days into their tour, Harry and Meghan have already provided their fans with a number of memorable moments. After arriving in Dubbo yesterday, the prince greeted six-year-old Luke Vincent of Bunyang Public School, and the young boy leapt into his arms for a giant hug before playfully caressing his face and tugging at his beard. As Harry laughed at the encounter, Meghan quickly came over to meet the animated young fan and was also greeted with a warm hug. Prince Harry also found a young royal fan who was wearing a shirt that read Girls Can Do Anything in Sydney, who had a striking resemblance to his wife. We feel she looks a bit like you, a person in the crowd is heard telling Meghan in a video posted by Harry underscore Meghan underscore updates on Instagram. The Duchess of Sussex replies, I was literally about to say the same thing. Harry then took a fan's phone to snap a photo of Meghan with her mini-me a rare move for the prince, who usually adheres to the royal protocol of no autographs or selfies. Following their meeting with fans, the royal couple headed to the government house for the young Victorian leader's reception. Meghan lost her coat to participate in an event encouraging women to take up sports. 
After greeting fans in Melbourne, Meghan and Harry headed to a reception with local government. They'll wrap the third day of their jam-packed 16-day tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand performing a beach cleanup with local school children.